Hello, Beetle people, and not just Beetle people, because today we're talking about the king of rock and roll. That's right, guys. Today would have been Elvis Presley's 83rd birthday. And to celebrate, I'm going to show you guys some of the random Elvis crap I have. Enjoy. So I've shown you guys my Elvis records before. I don't have very many. I've only got three 45s and a phonograph. But to recap, in case anybody has not seen that, I actually just recently got Are You Lonesome Tonight, B-Side, I Gotta Know, the original, by the way. I was very stoked to have found that. These next two pieces, sadly, aren't original, but they're still really great. They are the Elvis Presley 50th Anniversary 45s. Uh, over here you have Heartbreak Hotel and Jailhouse Rock on this beautiful yellow gold vinyl Ooh. and then we have blue suede shoes and tutti frutti also on gorgeous yellow goldish vinyl whichever way this is supposed to go there you go and then a piece that's extremely sentimental to me my grandfather's 78 of heartbreak hotel i was the one but you guys have seen this stuff before i'm gonna show you some fun toys and collectibles that I've collected throughout the years. Um, I know I talk about how much of a massive Beatle fan I am and how I'm the Beatle nut and blah, blah, blah. But Elvis Presley is one of my all time favorite artists. Um, I've always known who Elvis was, but I don't know, the thing that really turned me into a huge Elvis fan, and I'm not gonna lie, is watching Full House growing up as a kid. Because of course, you know, John Stamos' character, Uncle Jesse, was obsessed with Elvis. So thank you, Jeff Franklin, the creator of Full House, for writing a television show that incorporated some music history because it actually turned me on to Elvis. Uh, so I've been collecting Elvis stuff since I was a kid, but I'll be honest, most of the stuff somehow is in boxes somewhere in my closet and I can't find them. And one of my most prized possessions actually got swiped from me like 14 years ago. I had the Elvis uh, 68 Comeback Special um, doll with the leather jumpsuit and everything and the guitar, it was great. Somehow wound up missing. Uh, but this little guy right here, is something that's actually very, very sentimental to me. Uh, these are the Russell Stouffer's Elvis candies that used to come out in the late 90s. And every year for Valentine's Day, my dad would get me a stuffed animal and one of these Elvis boxes. And this is the only one that I can find right now. I have about three others somewhere in a box. Don't worry, Dad, they're somewhere. I didn't get rid of them, I never would. Um, so this is super sentimental to me. And I wish they were still making them. I don't know why they stopped. Russell Stouffer's, if you guys are out there, bring back the Elvis candy. The next piece I have are these awesome Elvis Presley Pez dispensers. You of course have the 1958 Elvis in the army. Uh, you have the 1968 comeback special in the middle, and then you have the 1973 Aloha from Hawaii Pez over here. Here, get a close-up of that. Aren't these great? Still in the box, still sealed. I will never, ever take these out. I'm actually, a, or I should say I used to be, a really big Pez collector as a kid. Um, even my bat mitzvah was Pez-themed because everybody thought it was going to be Beatles-themed, and I had to prove them wrong. So I made uh, the theme of my bat mitzvah Pez. Uh, so I actually have a couple hundred Pez dispensers, but I think I love these the most. Um, I'm still waiting one day, Beatles Pez. What's happening? When's it gonna happen? Another thing I'm a fond collector of are these Funko Pop Toys. And here we have 1970s Elvis. Um, this is one of the very first Pop Toys that they ever did. Um, it's Pop Rocks number three, and number two was 1950s Elvis. I'm not sure who number one is. Um, but of course, uh, the Beatles do have Pops, 
uh, their yellow submarine. You have John Paul, George, Ringo, and a blue mini. And I, yes, I have all five. Uh, but this is the only Elvis pop I have still in the box. Yes, 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 very nice, very nice. Thank you very much. An Elvis lunchbox. And it's supposed to look like, you know, the old school uh, television set. And you have the little antenna handle up at the top. And of course, this is a uh, picture of Elvis during the 68 comeback special. And inside, ah, it came with these great little, I guess they're postcards. Yeah, they are postcards. So you have this one. It's probably one of my favorite pictures of Elvis. I love young Elvis before he dyed his hair. Brown hair Elvis is my favorite. And then you have Blue Hawaii. And those came in the little lunchbox. This next piece, another very sentimental Elvis treasure that I have is this Elvis Grand Casino gold coin from 1998. And you have Elvis in his army outfit with an American flag behind him. And then the back is the Elvis logo. I got this from my mother's father, so my maternal grandfather, who, yes, my friends, this is a true story, was in the army with Elvis. Now, they didn't know each other or anything like that. They were just at the same place at the same time, and my grandfather saw him around every once in a while. My grandmother told me the story about how she was visiting my grandfather, and they saw Elvis driving around in a purple car with leopard interior. I don't know how much of that I believe, <laughs> but she said it happened, so we're just gonna say that it happened. Uh, but my grandparents loved to go to the casino and my grandfather got this and was nice enough to give it to me. So this is definitely a piece that I especially love. All right, my friends, that about wraps it up for today. Happy birthday, Elvis, wherever you are. And if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to talk more things, music, Beatles, Elvis, whatever, give my Facebook page a like. You can also follow me on Twitter at Caitlin Larkin, even though every time I say it, nobody does. Until next time, my friends, as always, peace and love. See ya.